Hello, I'm teacher Robin. Welcome to our first live steering class after the summer holiday. So welcome back or welcome as if this is your first time to join us. Uh, let me tell you how the live streaming classes work first. Uh, if you want to participate, you can write in the comments. So I'm going to be teaching a lesson today and if you have a question, you can write your question in the comments and I'll get to it at the end of the class and I'll have some questions to review the vocabulary and the topics that we've talked about today and you can also write your answers in the comments section. And if you want to find any of our previous live streaming classes, you can find them in the video section of our Facebook page. So you can see we have a lot of material there. We've covered a lot of different topics. So if you want to watch those, then just click on the video. You can watch it as many times as you want. Uh, you can write in the comments, you can share it on your own Facebook page, or you can tag someone you think might want to join the class. So today, for our first class back after the summer holidays, we have a different kind of topic for you. And I just want to let you know before we start the class that this topic is related to sexuality and sexual orientation. This is something that we think is very important uh, for our students to learn, uh, as well as any other kind of vocabulary in English. When you're traveling, when you are visiting an English-speaking country, it's so important to use the correct terminology. So to help me with this topic today, which is LGBTQIA+, we have a guest that has joined us before in the past. Marina, uh, thank you for joining us today. Hi. Okay, so Marina works here at ABBA with us. Can you please tell us uh, where are you from? What, uh, what is it that you do here at ABBA? And what's your experience learning English? Well, um, I'm from Barcelona, Spain, and um, well, I'm here working in the marketing department, specifically in the email marketing department. And well, um, my adventure with English learning started when I was a kid. Uh, at school, but then when I started um, having interest with uh, movies and uh, music books, uh, it's when I tried to improve it and I started learning uh, with, uh, with the lyrics and uh, mm -hmm. with the movies in uh, original version and well, that's my story. Great, that's <laughs> a great way to learn and you will uh, have noticed if you've been watching our classes for a while that we have already done a live streaming mm -hmm. together on learning English with songs. So as I said, all of our previous classes you can check out in the video section. That was a really fun class that we did together talking about some different song recommendations and song lyrics. So today we're going to talk about this topic, LGBTQIA. Um, you might be thinking, what are all these letters and what do they stand for? So we're going to go through all of this vocabulary one by one, letter by letter. First, I see that uh, Juan, Jesse, David, Aman, Lucia, and Charles say hello. So thank you, to, uh, thank you for joining, hi. And uh, feel free to keep writing in the comments and please let us know if you have any questions. As this is a, a bit of a sensitive subject that we're talking about today, we want you to write as many comments as possible and please ask any questions that you might have. We just ask that you be respectful of everyone who is watching. Um, that's the most important thing, to respect each other, to have fun, and to learn English together. Okay, so let's go through all of these uh, one by one. So the first one, Marina, what does the L stand for? It's the L, it's for lesbian. Okay, the G is for gay. The B for bisexual. Mm -hmm. The T is for transgender. The Q for queer. Mm -hmm. The I is for intersex. And the A is for asexual. Okay, and we'll explain the, the plus here in just a second. Okay, let's go through one by one the definitions of what that actually means. So, a uh, lesbian is defined as a woman who is physically or romantically attracted to another woman. So, t the, the same sex. Yeah. And then gay, it's the same, but a man who's physically at, um, or romantically attracted to other men. Okay. Then we have the B, bisexual, is an individual who experiences attraction to both sexes, um, both their own and the opposite sex. And transgender is a person who identifies uh, with the opposite sex to which uh, they were born. Mm -hmm. Okay, queer, this word um, is used not only uh, in a sexual connotation, it means something that is strange, but in this context it's used um, to talk about people who don't identify with their birth 
gender or who are just a little bit uh, different or who don't quite fit in with um, society, uh, societal norms, let's say. And intersex, it's for a person whose physical characteristics are not exclusively, exclusively mm -hmm. male or female. Okay. And uh, asexual, the A is someone who does not have a well-defined sexual identity. Maybe they're not sure or they haven't really decided yet or they're, they're not quite sure. Okay, and then the Q, I mean the <laughs> plus, excuse me. <laughs> the, the plus, it's for, it's the sign uh, is there uh, at the end uh, to welcome additional communities under the LGBT uh, uh, umbrella. Mm -hmm. so, so it's almost like a, yeah. an ellipsis, a dot, 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 yeah. or a et cetera. So yeah. it means everyone is, is included. Yep. Okay, so now that we've looked at these um, abbreviations, what these stand for, we want to give you some important pointers, especially if you're traveling in uh, an English-speaking country, some things to keep in mind, some differences in vocabulary. Okay, can you explain the first one, Marina? The first one is for homosexual uh, versus gay or lesbian, and in this case, homosexual, as it may differ from other languages, in English, it's uh, it can be a bit offensive if you use it, so it's more appropriate to use gay or lesbian. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Uh, sexual orientation versus sexual preference, okay. Uh, someone's sexual orientation can be gay, lesbian, uh, it's straight if you are also, if you like the opposite sex. Um, but it's better to use orientation versus preference because preference implies that you choose or you decide uh, versus uh, whether or not you were born this way. So it's more correct, more politically correct, to use the sexual orientation if you're going to ask someone or if you're going to, to talk about someone else. Mm -hmm. And for sex and gender, um, for example, um, uh, sex can, well, it's more common use gender mm -hmm. than sex mm -hmm. because it Mm, it's not that appropriate to ask, ask for the sex mm -hmm. and, and more appropriate to talk about gender. It, mm, well, maybe you can Like give if us someone is examples. having a baby and yeah. I say, oh, do you know the sex? It's better to say, do you know the gender? Yeah. Okay, is it male or female, for example? Mm. Okay, so now that we've cleared up this confusion, we're going to do something <laughs> uh, fun because we love talking about movies, about books, and about... Um, songs because this is really a great way to learn English and enjoy yourself. So we're going to give you some recommendations related to today's topic. Okay, so the LGBTQIA plus um, related recommendations. So let's start with movies. Marina, can you tell us some good movies to watch? Well, the first one that we've picked is uh, Harvey Milk, and this movie, it's the biopic about the uh, life of Harvey Milk, that, um, that he was the first uh, open gay politician mm -hmm. in San Francisco, and uh, well, he was an activist uh, about the LGBT uh, community, mm -hmm. so uh, this is a very interesting movie uh, about the, the, the first steps of the politi political revolution. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, Carol, what is this about? Carol, it's, uh, it's about, uh, well, it's a movie about uh, a woman who's mm -hmm. married in, this, uh, in the 50s, and, but she's unhappy about mm -hmm. that. So uh, she starts a relationship with another young woman. Mm -hmm. And the film is about that context in the in the history so how uh, that fits in in the society okay and then finally we have the danish girl which is about a transgender uh, man so a man uh, played by eddie redmayne who is married as well mm. uh, but who decides he is more comfortable as a woman and so he transitions into uh, becoming a woman in this movie. This is an Oscar nominated movie, so very, very interesting. So as with all movie recommendations, I uh, encourage you to watch with subtitles in English. Yep. That way you understand all the vocabulary. Um, watch as many times as you need to. Take notes, look up the vocabulary, keep a notebook. Okay, uh, well, I see we have a question from yep. Tauf. 
Rafik, sorry if I said your name wrong. Mm -hmm. Are there any, uh, do we have a YouTube channel? Yes, we do. So if you look up Abba English on YouTube, you can also find mm -hmm. some of our videos there. And this video should be posted to YouTube as well yeah. after we're live. Okay, now let's move on to book recommendations. Um, Marina, can you tell us about these? Well, uh, the first that we pick is Call Me By Your Name, that uh, you can find also the movie, mm -hmm. and, but it was first the book. And this book talks about the sexual awakening of a young boy and, um, and his relationship during a summer with another, another boy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, it's a very um, youngish and mm -hmm. uh, lovely story okay. about it. Yeah. Good. And another one uh, I recommend is called Middlesex by Jeffrey Eudenides. And it's about uh, a, young, a young woman growing up in a, in a very big Greek family in the United States and her transition into uh, becoming a man. So now let's move on to song recommendations. <laughs> uh, we have chosen a song related to this topic for you. You might be familiar with it. Marina, who's the singer? <laughs> Well, it's Lady Gaga. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's a great um, supporter of yeah. the LGBT community, and the song is called Born This Way. So we've chosen some, uh, some parts of the lyrics that we want to show you with the vocabulary and some phrases. Okay, do you want to... Well, read? the first part is, I'm beautiful in my way, because mm -hmm. God makes no mistakes. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So uh, here she's saying, yes, I'm beautiful in my way. So the way that you are uh, makes you beautiful because God makes no mistakes means that if we believe that God created us, he didn't make any mistakes, that we should be the way that we are. Uh, I'm on the right track. What does it mean to be on the right track? Well, it's uh, a way to say that um, we are following our own path and mm -hmm. it's the good path. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So any choice that we make yeah. is, is a good one. Yeah. Okay. And I was born this way. So obviously you were born uh, with the sexual orientation mm -hmm. that you that you have. And that's, uh, and as she says, that makes us beautiful. Okay. And uh, let's see another part of the song. Don't be a drag, just be a queen, okay? This is um, kind of a joke about a uh, drag queen. So a drag, what is a drag queen? A uh, drag queen, well, it's a man that uh, dresses as a woman. Mm -hmm. and, but the, in this, uh, in this uh, part of the song, mm -hmm. it means that, uh, well, being a drag can be like boring. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's like a, a game mm -hmm. word. Uh, or maybe oh, someone who's being a drag is someone oh. who doesn't accept you oh, as yeah. you are. Okay? I, yeah. And just be a queen, just be uh, beautiful, yeah, fabulous, fabulous. As, as you are. Okay, and then the last part, Marina? The last part, it's no matter gay, straight or bi, lesbian, transgender life, I'm on the right track, baby. I was born to survive. Mm -hmm. So here she mentions uh, some of the different um, orientations here. Bi is another, uh, a shorter way to say bisexual. If you say that someone is bi or you're bi, it means I'm uh, bisexual. Okay, so now that we have gone through the vocabulary and the different uh, recommendations of books, songs, and movies, we want to ask you a question in the comments, or if you have any other questions, something that we haven't mentioned, please feel free to, to ask. Um, and I want to know, do you have any favorite um, books, movies, or songs about this topic, about the LGBTQ uh, topic that we haven't mentioned, uh, maybe one in your language that we don't know about, so please let us know in the comments about that. Um, as you are writing, let me tell you about our ABBA course. So at ABBA we have a great course available on both uh, web and app versions. Uh, so if you want to go to our website and register with us, you can sign up as a free student where you'll have access to the first unit of each level. And then if you decide to go premium, you'll have access to all of the course content. So our course is based on short videos, short films. So it's a great way to learn. You watch a film and then you complete exercises and practice your speaking, practice your listening and your writing. Um, all together in the course. Okay, so in addition to our course, what other resources do we have for our students? Well, we have the blog where you can find hundreds of practical articles about vocabulary, grammar, tips, uh, well, all everything 
uh, about English related mm -hmm. and uh, we can uh, well you can find us too in social media like Facebook Twitter or YouTube mm -hmm. okay great so let's see if anyone has uh, written anything in the comments mm -hmm. we are happy to answer your questions I hope that uh, many people are watching. I hope that you are learning something today. This is, uh, we haven't talked about this topic before, but you mm -hmm. can also find on our blog um, an article related to this topic yeah. as well. So check that out. Okay, I see many people are saying thanks for this video, so that's great. Thank I'm happy you. that uh, that you're enjoying it. Mm. Let me tell you about next week's class. I'm gonna have another special guest. If you are into motorcycles, do you like motorcycles, Marina? Not, not that much. Okay, so not maybe this isn't something yeah. that you want to watch, but um, if you like motorcycles, then uh, another ABBA employee will be joining yeah. me to talk about yeah. motorcycle vocabulary and MotoGP, so uh, please, tune in for that and um, I want to oh that's last slide yeah. okay so yeah. I want to thank Marina for joining us today I hope you, you can join again it's oh, always yeah. fun to do <laughs> these classes with you I see someone Robert says thank you for your effort okay good um, so please keep writing in the comments and if yeah. we didn't answer your question now I'll be happy to look at them a little bit later and get back to you so if you have a question please feel free to write it so um, take care and we will see you next time. So have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye.